greatly unhappy. Thursday. There was a driving rain on the moors, and a governess arrived. And she has very beautiful hair. Yeah, that right there is a clip from the Moors Simpson Productions over at Simpson College is hosting Jen Silverman's The Moors as its first production of the season. We've got Jennifer Nostrala here with us, who is the director of the department. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us today. Glad to be here. Absolutely. So uh, first of all, I want to just get into talking about the plot of this production. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. So the plot is fairly simple. Two spinster sisters are living on a bleak life on the English moors with their dog. And then what, a governess shows up uh, and a moorhen shows up and then I guess chaos ensues from that. I love that, chaos ensues. But what is the overall thing? Because obviously that sounds very simple, but it's, it's pretty complex. There's a good story yes, behind I mean, this. I, really what it's about is about people who are lonely and who are desperate um, to kind of ease that loneliness. And in doing so, they go to pretty extreme measures. And so when you talk about extreme measures, what do you mean by that? Well, first off, um, it, so it's set in 1840s ish. Mm. Uh, so Jen Silverman, the playwright, specifies that. So it is a historical play and yet contemporary. But one of the first things is that they call for a governess, but there are no children. Mm. Okay. So and the governess comes to find out that there are no children and wonders why she is there. Uh, so that's one of the things. And then things get a little bit more intense and perhaps a little bit scary and violent. Okay, and you know, obviously we can't tell everyone the whole story, right. but um, what do you hope that the audience is gonna walk away with when they come out of this one? Well, one of the things I really hope is that they really enjoy kind of the ride it is. I feel it's, um, I mean, it's builds a dark comedy, it is, but there are vulnerable moments, there are surprises along the way, and part of it is we really want a desire to connect. I think in this world we miss that in our electronic world, and so just by being present in the theater in a live performance, you get a chance to connect with people and kind of have a surprising experience that's shared with the performers who are on stage. Now, I want to talk about the crew that you have specifically here at the college. I mean, how many people are working on this production? So we probably have about 30, 35 people working on the production. We have six performers on stage, but we have the designers, we have the different crews in sets, lights, and costumes. And so, and then we have a lot of people working backstage, all those people who make the magic happen that we don't see. Absolutely, and they do an incredibly important job for these people who are a part of this. And you guys, you're going to have five productions Correct. this year. So if people want to find out more about these productions, where can they go to get more information? Um, an easy site to go to is to the Simpson College website. And so if you just do simpson.edu, you can find theater and Simpson productions on that. That's the best place to go. And I just want to clarify, this is not just plays. You guys have opera, operas coming up, right? We do. So Simpson Productions, we are a collaborative group between the theater and the music departments and we really manage all of the shows and we like to say that we do it all so we do plays we do contemporary plays we do operas uh, we do musicals and um, everything in between and so the next show coming up is speed dating tonight uh, which is a contemporary opera about speed dating right? there you go and written by uh, the composer is michael ching who uh, lives here in iowa you know, you guys have so much going on over there. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely.